Is there a limit to how frictionless we can make payments? And how quickly are we approaching this landmark? Good morning, everyone. This is Meryl from Payment Jeans, and today it's all about payments. Consumers' unquenchable desire for more convenience has been a key driver and opened many doors for payment innovations. Currently, the world is rapidly moving towards a place where contactless mobile payments have been massively adopted and are accepted everywhere. But is this good enough? It is very well possible that the pandemic has further accelerated a new phase in payment innovations, one where AI-powered voice payment methods could become the new norm. Or perhaps we're innovating to such an extent that the act of payment happens constantly for the consumer while zero transactional related actions have to be carried out to pay. So why are we looking at the future from this perspective then? Amazon Pay is not shying away and building the fundamentals for this future complete frictionless payment methods through their new touchless solution, which is enabled across 11,000 extra mobile gas stations across the US. Essentially, Alexa, pay for gas is all you need to say, after which Alexa confirms the location and pump number of the station, at which point Visor's digital e-commerce technology will activate the pump and perform a tokenization generated to make a secure payment. The partnership between ExoMobile, Amazon and Visor to build Pay at the Pump with Alexa was first presented in January at the annual Consumer Electronics Show. Voice-enabled payments have been introduced as a true touchless payment experience. This technology has already been on the rise before the pandemic hit, but now more than ever people are seeking ways to answer the big questions. How can I pay without having to touch anything? The survey, How Will We Pay, conducted by Visa and Payments, showed that more than 3 out of 10 consumers owns voice assistance, compared to just 1.4 out of 10 three years ago in 2017. So will this frictionless experience attract the interest of consumers? And is this the next big thing we should expect when stopping for a tank of gas or even better, at a fast food drive through Let us know in the comments below. Thank you all again for watching and I'm looking forward to see you again next week. Cheers, bye-bye.